It's really hard to describe with any amount of completeness the feeling that you get when you enter the Rocky Mountains in Alberta. The massive peaks and vast forests somehow manage to be powerful and intimidating while simultaneously being so still, silent, and beautiful. And it's something in that combination that gives me chills every time I cross the threshold into the Rockies. But one of the most amazing things about this area is the visual beauty. From afar, you see a panoramic view of an epic mountain dusted with greenery, a lake at its feet fed by a massive glacier in the distance. But as you venture closer and closer, you see that each piece of that puzzle has its own smaller and equally as incredible beauty as well. As a photographer, the Rocky Mountains offer an endless amount of opportunity and inspiration. I just arrived last night into Canmore, Alberta, which is just outside of Banff National Park, and I am so excited because today we're going to be heading up to one of the most iconic views in the province, up at the top of Sulphur Mountain, where we're going to be doing something completely unique and super exciting. Put your hand in my hand, darling, say go, keep your eyes on the horizon, stay go. all I need are your eyes. You're my arrow. Now we're running into the wild. Sulphur Mountain is named for its sulfurous hot springs, but it's known for its amazing 360 degree view from the top. You can see six different mountain ranges, so when you get up there, no matter which direction you look, there's something amazing and beautiful for you to see. And while you can hike up to the top if you're feeling adventurous, you can also take the famous Banff gondola up the more than 2,000 feet, and you've got amazing views the entire way. And speaking of that amazing view, that's exactly why we're here and why I'm about to meet with Matt Scoble and hop on this gondola up to the top. My name is Matt Scoble. I'm a landscape photographer from here in the Canadian Rockies, the beautiful town of Canmore, Alberta. I was just something about this area of the world. The Canadian Rockies obviously span from Alberta to BC, but this particular location with Banff National Park and Jasper National Park, I think just the magnitude of the mountains and just how much amazing backcountry we have here, it drew me in and I moved to Canmore about five years now and I've never looked back. With COVID, it's unfortunate that a lot of people from across Canada and international haven't had a chance to come to the Canadian Rockies and specifically Banff National Park. So I kind of had this idea, you know, how could I bring people to the Rockies in the best way possible without actually physically coming here. And I thought, hey, why not do a live photography workshop? I think this is a pretty cool spot to do a, a landscape photography workshop. You know, so doing something like this is obviously a big challenge. Uh, the first people I reached out to was the team at the camera store. Uh, they were amazing. They offered to, to run this entire workshop, uh, bring out the gear, run the live stream, get involved. And they're actually gonna be live streaming back from Calgary at the, uh, the camera store. I mean, so obviously like live streaming from the top of a mountain has a huge set of challenges. I mean, you could bring out your smartphone and, and go live on Instagram, but we wanted to kind of elevate this and that's where Sony really came in. So Sony sent us out some cameras and in particular, they sent us out a smartphone called the Sony Xperia 5G Pro. And what's unique about this phone is it has an HDMI input, which allows us to actually send the signal from the mirrorless camera to the smartphone and then broadcast it out to the world. And that's really our setup. We've got two cameras. They're gonna be running a little bit of a wireless setup so that we can switch between the two of them. And then that's all gonna get fed through the phone, sent back to the team at the camera store in Calgary. They're gonna patch all that into their live feed and then they're gonna send that out on YouTube. So a lot of moving parts, a lot of challenges. We've gotta deal with the cell phone signal right now to make sure that's solid. The guys are working like really hard behind the scenes right now to make this work. And uh, if we can pull it off, we'll be live from the Rockies. If not, uh, I don't know, we'll find out. Uh, and you're 100% sure there's no like setting configuration? No. We can't change the bands or anything no. stupid like that? Fix it? Yeah. Everything seems to be good on the signal, which was the big issue that we're having. 
Um, but I think we got that solved. And now we're just sort of making sure that the audio is going through the cameras, through the system. We've got both cameras working. If everything is working, we can have this camera and that camera and me on live and I'll actually have audio and everything will be great. If it doesn't work, we don't know what's gonna happen, so. Uh, we need HDMI, you need one of mine, right? Yes. Everything's good now. Okay. Now it's gone. Oh, we meant 7 p.m. Pacific time, actually. <laughs> you guys thought it was mountain time? I'm sorry, it's actually this. Hold on, let's try this. The question is, what are they going to see? Sorry, I know I'm being a pain. I, like my gut's saying that's like so super wide. Yeah. How do you? What do you think about it? That looks tight. That's good. This, Does that this look good? Looks this is good. at 35. At 35, that's looking nice. That, yeah. Okay. Wait. This is not, that's a little delayed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bring it up a little. Uh, wait. My. Yeah, this is wait, the frame now. Bring it up a little bit. I'm good. Knock that over. Okay. So. Yeah. This is good. Last second check. You guys, is everyone good? You're talking to them, no problem. Gary, everything's cool from your standpoint. We're good. I've got a live feed on here, so I can't look through the viewfinder, but I got this. Audio is good. They're saying audio is good. Audio is good. Okay. And we have approximately five minutes, do you think? 708? Uh, yeah, 709, 708. Let's do it. We are going to be virtually heading over to Sulphur Mountain. Um, and so stay tuned for a couple of seconds as we transition over with the TCS TV live dream team right over to Banff. Welcome to Sulphur Mountain in the Banff Gondola in Banff National Park. First of all... I got a fire in me that can't be tamed. I hear the moment and it's calling my name. Thunder cry from the top of a mountain high. I'm king of the mountain. All right, so that is it for shot number one. We've got a long way to go for shot number two. Do we want to answer a couple questions right now? All right, let's do it. What do we got? It says, turn your hat backwards and give a thumbs up to prove it's live. That is a great idea. Let's do that. Hat is now officially backwards. Thumbs up. We are live from the Rockies at the top of Banff Gondola. We're going to go all the way over to the other side, and uh, we're going to bring it back to the team at the camera store, and we'll see you on the other side of the gondola. Did we, did we get anything? Oh, we got it. We, we got it. It all works. It, the problem is, is every time you hit the, the HDMI cable, it started flickering. It's not even hitting the HDMI cable. I know. It's just moving. I, I, yeah. it, it just, it was just, I couldn't see anything either. It was just cutting out the whole time. You um, oh, it was cut, even cutting out here? Yeah. So it's, it's yeah. So I was just winging it. I, I didn't, uh, it threw me off, but uh, we're going to go quick. So let's, uh, let's pack up and move, help these guys with gear. Um, Gary, what can we do for you right now? Uh, give me 30 seconds. You want to switch lens now? Yeah, we can switch lenses. At elevation, <laughs> on stairs, not fair. A little like kind of where the trail ends to okay. the left. What are your go-to lenses? Gigo Zoom or Prime? Could, would you mind? Uh, can you them ask? No, or 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 just ask them to me off camera. Yeah, for sure. Let's do it that yeah, way. Yeah, for you sure. Do you want to do hey, that at the start of the segment? Yeah, we're gonna do it right at the start. Yep. And I'm ready to go anytime. Okay. We are all ready okay. to go. I'm giving the signal. Matt's ready. All right, guys, we are back from the top of Banff Gondola. Thank you, Evelyn. Now, if you take a look here, we're completely on the other side of the gondola. It's about a half a kilometer. I heard we did have a few questions that came in in between the breaks, so I'm going to start with those. You want Matt to start over? Chris. Ah. We got to start over? Okay. All right, if you're listening, okay. we're starting over. That is shot number two from the Banff Gondola. We are gonna go to number three. It's gonna take us a few minutes. So I'll send it back to Evelyn and Dave at the camera store. 
Well, let's get these. This is kind of a right there. Good, yeah. So what is going on here with this? I can't it's, restrict you're focus. You're probably it's too dark. I think. Okay. Here we go. Through this. Do you have questions? You guys got audio? We got test, questions. test, test. We have questions. Okay. Have you guys got audio down there? Uh, what gear are you using today? Oh, so for me, I am shooting the new Sony Alpha One. Gary's got even more crazy equipment back there. It would take us forever to go through it. Sony is the star of the show here. They've been an amazing sponsor of this event. Uh, one final thing, if you guys could just do this for one second, just come on in and just come take a picture with me. Gary, get away from the computer. So we got Kath, we got Gary, we got Chris, we got Dana. Thank you guys so much. We are live from the Rockies here at the Banff Gondola at Sulphur Mountain, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Back to you guys. Yay, we did it. You guys did it. We all did it. Dave and I didn't really do too much no. tonight. We just, we chilled. And that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Hey. Hey. Woo. Poof. <laughs> Man, that was crazy. No, but like, um, honestly, I'll, I'll say this. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's so stressful to do this live. I mean, we came up with this idea. We, oh, it was crazy. Uh, I think it was crazy at the beginning. These guys made it crazier because we went to two cameras, wireless signal. I mean, they ramped it up, but this was incredible. Hopefully, the YouTube stream looked good. It did. Uh, it it did. did. It was good. Looked good. Everyone's happy. just wrapped the live stream up at the top of Sulphur Mountain. Everything went so well. There were a couple of technical difficulties beforehand and a few things that needed to get figured out on the fly, but overall it was such an amazing experience and we got lots of really great feedback. Matt did such an amazing job and the whole crew and everybody that was up there was just so cool and calm and collected. The views are amazing, the weather's amazing. We couldn't ask for anything better than this. I really think that Matt nailed it when he talked about the idea of this workshop being bringing people to the Rockies or bringing the Rockies to people. I absolutely love this place as a photographer and videographer, but even just as a human and being able to share this place is such an amazing gift. And I think ultimately that's one of the reasons why I was so drawn to this specific event. The idea of being able to kind of take the world to some kind of a workshop like this up at the top of Sulphur Mountain where there are these unbelievable views. It's just something that spoke to me a lot. Not to mention my own personal fascination with the technology behind the whole thing, using the Xperia to be able to live stream a live feed from the Sony A1 is just something that's really interesting to me. And I think interesting to a lot of people as well. And because the technology is available now and because it's something that we've seen once, I have a feeling like we'll probably see more and more people doing things like this in the future. So for now, we have to say goodbye to the beautiful Rocky Mountains, but I'm gonna say goodbye in the way that I know how best with one more hike.